ambition, conquest, lust, murder, and the power of unrivaled technology. These are the cornerstones in the foundation of the Roman Empire. They were driven by a kind of collective cultural ego. Rome's colossal building projects, stadiums, palaces, roads, aqueducts, span three continents and unleash the power and promise of the world's most advanced civilization. These structures became symbols of that idea of Rome. But while the Romans dominated the landscape with massive feats of construction, they were ultimately powerless to prevent their own self-destruction. March 15, 44 BC. The most powerful man in the world lay lifeless on the floor of the Roman Senate. As a general, he nearly doubled the size of the Roman Empire. As a politician, he engineered a stunning rise to power. But now this battle-scarred warrior had been slain in Rome and by Romans. His name was Gaius Julius Caesar. Caesar's rise to power was predicated on him wanting to have the best standing in the Roman state. He seemed to want too much power for himself. He did not share power with others, and this was what led directly to his assassination. When Caesar was assassinated, there was no guarantee that anything would happen except that Rome would fall apart completely. Caesar's reign was a major turning point in Rome's political history. His conquest of Gaul greatly expanded the reach of Roman influence. His consolidation of power marked the death of the Roman Republic, ruled by democratically elected senators and consuls, and the birth of an empire in which tyrannical emperors could rule with absolute authority. Caesar's bridge was an early indication of his single-minded ambition. A decade later, that ambition would propel him to unprecedented power. But it would also prove to be his downfall. When he was declared Rome's first dictator for life at the age of 55 in 44 BC, whispers of assassination began to echo through the halls of the Roman Senate. 